Now a while ago you may remember that I did a video based on the Game King. Well that has now gone I have now built this new emulation PC. Now the PC itself is nothing uh, special. Uh, basically it's a Hewlett Packard, uh, oh, I forgot the numbers now, some sort of office PC, the Elite Edition, not that that really matters. So what's actually happened to this is it's uh, been given a memory upgrade, it's now got 8GB of RAM, it's got a brand new iCore processor in the latest version. It's running Windows 7, but the biggest addition to this system is the fact that it has one of these. Don't you just love the box? <laughs> that box is classic. This is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti, yeah. Oh, man, I love that box, that's great. So now this uh, baby can run 3D games really, really well. And um, it is actually set up so it does work as um, an emulation system. You can connect it to a Gemma cabinet if you add the uh, Gemma uh, PCI card to the back of it. But the main reason for using this PC is the USB, is the USB ports. Uh, as you can see on the front, it's got four USB ports and on the back it's got another six. It's overkill. Um, so it really is handy for just plugging in your joysticks, as you can see right here. We have the old uh, Xbox 360 joystick plugged in. Works absolutely fantastic. Uh, for analog games, we just use an Xbox uh, controller for those. So let's take a look at what it looks like when you boot it up. Okay, so let's power up the PC. Um, just to let you know, it is actually going through the XRGB Mini. You can see the uh, menus on the screen there. So um, it's going through the XRGB Mini frame master uh, via HDMI. So the idea originally was to um, put uh, scan lines on the low resolution games. But I found out um, you can't actually do that. Yeah, it doesn't really work that well. So as you can see, it's booting up arcade box. Nice custom front end here. And as you can see, instead of the Windows uh, 7 background, we've got a nice customized one. Uh, that, was, that one is uh, from the uh, Capcom Arcade collection. And yes, we can still uh, bring up the uh, Frame Meisters menus as well. And as you can see, the emulator boots, uh, sorry, the emulator, the PC boots straight up it came to. Now let's just look at those uh, very nice the menus. The, the uh, PC boots straight into M Galaxy, which is a front end for various emulators. And it is all controllable via the joystick. So, um, before I show you the options on M Galaxy, let's just start off with uh, running a game. So, we've got the Model 3 emulator loaded up here. Uh, Stop the game by just pressing it. Okay. Launching game. And as you can see, works perfectly fine. Also, the uh, sound from this uh, PC is going through the camp, so we've got a lovely, quality, uh, beefy sound. The uh, Game King certainly couldn't run Model 3 games, that's for sure. Okay, we can get out of the game very simple by pressing the button. There we go. Okay, so if you press this button here, uh, by the way, you have to configure this yourself. But if you press this button here to bring up uh, the different emulator menus, so I've got uh, four emulators on this at the moment. Um, we've got um, Final Burn Alpha, Name, Model 2, and Model 3. Uh, let's go for a bit of Name. Okay. And um, you can actually choose um, what type of style game you want to play. So you press the Start button here, and uh, you can uh, just go to the uh, type of game. So uh, let's go to, I don't know, uh, one on one beat em ups. There we go. So, fighting bus. There we go. And now we've got all the fighting bus games to choose from. Yeah, let's uh, start this one up and see what happens. Launching game. 
Of course, you get the uh, typical main menus. There you go, the game works perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. Of course, all the credits and everything work on the joystick. Um, by the way, you can bring up the main menus by pressing this button here. And you can configure various things if you want to. You can also pause the game by pressing it again. We can get into the um, game's uh, dip switch settings. And of course, we need to enter in the credits, which you can do by pressing this button up here. And of course, start button to start. Now, as you can hear, this game is pretty quiet, so that's not a problem. We bring up the menu. Go to the slider controls. Uh, oh, it's that button again, is it? Oh, that's that button. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I have exited the game. But as you can see, you can uh, turn up the music and everything. And yes, this will run um, pretty much anything you throw at it. So as I said, it's got that GeForce card inside it. So it's a pretty powerful system. Uh, again, let's just uh, change the emulators. Uh, by the way, you can also put your favorites and things in. Search for games using the um, on-screen keyboard. If you really want to, really. Do the pain. Save uh, your game saves in there, your, your game states. Uh, let's go for a bit of Sega Model 3, uh, Model 2, sorry. Uh, let's see, what shall we do? Yeah, let's do a bit of a dead or alive. Launching game. Here we go, works no problem whatsoever. some credits inside it already. Some emulators, you can't assign the button to the keyboard to escape, but that's no problem, you just use one of these. A little mini micro uh, Bluetooth keyboard. There you go, no problem whatsoever. Very simple. Uh, for games such as House of the Dead, Launching game. that's not a problem either. Best way to play these type of games is with a mouse. So you just use a, a Bluetooth mouse. And as you can see, you can move the uh, cursor around the screen and play your games that way. You can still use the joystick to put in your credits. Oh no! Oh. Others are still inside. Save them. So that is the new emulation PC. Uh, I know it's nothing uh, super special, but uh, it certainly is uh, a nice little addition to my uh, games collection. I like playing uh, arcade games that are a little bit more authentic and connecting the uh, standard PC up to the uh, TV screen. Although I thought the real machines would be a little more better, that's for sure. Help me? 